Let's discuss three amazing interviews of three amazing arm wrestlers. Starting with Monster Michael Todd. Is Michael making a big mistake by motivating himself so much so early that he has already started thinking about a potential future Devon Lariat rematch? Then we have Hermes Gasparini talking with Engin Terzi and potentially setting up a left-handed match against Alijan Muratov. And one interesting thing that he said about the Devon vs Levan rematch. And finally, a popular Russian YouTuber interviewing Denis Siplenkov where he asked Denis indirectly if he used HGH or not. Let's start. Michael Todd started off with naming his top 5 arm wrestlers in the world on the right arm. Levan Saginashvili, Devon Lerett, Hermes Gasparini, Georgi Svetkov, and then either Jerry Kadret or Vitaly Lalitin. After the surgery, Michael now has more pronation and more supination. And fortunately, from an arm wrestler's perspective, his elbow still couldn't fully straighten. So maybe he still has a king's move. If he needs that, he is going to utilize that. But he is aiming so high so early. I see it's a possibility that in this comeback, there's a chance that I can have a long run without losing a single round. Well, usually, as Engin Terzi also says, it's the best thing for an athlete to aim the highest that he can. But in this case, when Michael is just making a comeback from an elbow surgery, he may be putting up too much pressure on himself. And this can be detrimental. What if he isn't able to make it to the top? Then the emotional damage that he may be having is going to be way more than what he got when he lost for the first time against Devon and multiple matches after that. I think right now he should just work as hard as he can, which he's already doing and just focus on one match at a time. I have done everything the doctor said. I'm leaving nothing to chance. If I don't achieve my overall goal, it wasn't because I didn't do the work. It was because my body wasn't capable. And I just refused to believe it. I'm not here to participate. I'm here to dominate. Michael must have done some self-assessment and these statements clearly show that he isn't feeling far off from his peak shape, if not already there. So Michael named five opponents that he would like to face in the future. Georgi Svetkov, Artem Morozov, Hermes Gasparini, Levan Saginashvili and maybe even Denis Siplenkov. And then there was a discussion about potentially having a 115kg interim title match if Devon doesn't defend it by July or August this year. So that is kind of news which Michael for sure must have heard it from Engin Terzi himself and this kind of shows that Devon has to defend and maybe he will defend his title by July or August. If Devon has both 115 and super heavyweight title by then and Michael somehow gets a shot at Devon he would like to face Devon in the super heavyweight category because that title means more to Michael and to be honest it means more to everyone not just Michael Todd so despite having signed a contract with East vs West Michael is still kind of open about participating in WL if situation is so if it is suitable because the travel is too much to Istanbul so if the offer is good he's open for that he isn't competing at Monster Factory his own event with the right arm because of one simple reason. Michael said that it doesn't make much sense for me to pay someone to arm wrestle me rather than that I would just go somewhere and get paid to arm wrestle someone. Let's just hope that Michael does well in his first comeback match at East vs West 12 in April. Let's discuss the Hermes Gasparini interview now. Hermes said that he is almost feeling pain free after the Vitali match. Vitali messed up his shoulder for good. It was in pain for quite some time but right now he is almost let's say 99% healed up. And he has started training both of his arms. Maybe it was because of the Travis Bajan match or maybe he just wants more matches and more cash I guess. We would love to see Hermes compete both left and right. So it kind of started jokingly. Engin also said that you want to face Alijan when Hermes started talking about him. Hermes agreed. Engin said if you win this poll against Alijan Muratov, then he is going to set up that match. And surprisingly, Hermes won with 60% votes. Just to make things confirmed, Engin created another poll in his community tab and Hermes won once again. Which is kind of surprising because Alijan dominated Evgeny Prudnik. Maybe Hermes can also beat Prudnik but not in that fashion. Alijan seems to be unstoppable right now. But Hermes had to say that in round 1, 
Artem Morozov was not able to hook me and he is one of the best hookers out there. So if a super heavyweight cannot do that, then there is absolutely no way that a 105 kg Alijan Muratov is going to be able to hook Aramis Gasparini. And without a hook, he cannot beat Aramis. This is the fact that Aramis is relying on. Plus, they discussed that since it is not a title match, it is only going to be best of five and three rounds Aramis can win easily without much problem. Then they started discussing the Devon versus Levan match and Engin asked Hermes if he believes that Devon will take a match against Levan if he didn't believe that he can win this one. And the answer was surprising and at the same time it made a lot of sense. Hermes said that Devon has defeated everyone. There is no one else to face. He just has to have a match right now so that maybe doesn't mean that he really believes. Well, he didn't say that Devon doesn't believe, but that was a really, really sharp and quick answer from Hermes. And it's logical, Devon does not have any other opponent. So does he believe that he really has a shot against Levan? Maybe he does. But even if he doesn't, like the last time, will anyone be surprised? Well, I guess so. Hermes still believes that on the right arm, Levan is still the strongest and most dangerous opponent that he has ever felt. For the left arm, he believes that either Lalitin or maybe even Levan is the strongest and toughest opponent. And in this Devon versus Levan match, Levan is going to be the favorite because Levan took the Hermes Gasparini match as a loss despite winning it 4 pins to 2 because he wasn't happy with the result and especially after one year comeback, he needs to prove himself once again despite being undefeated in super matches. That's how, that's why he's going to show up at a whole nother level. But still, Levan needs to be alert. If Devon stops him above the pad, unlike the last time, he is going to be in some big trouble. This was one advice from Hermes Gasparini to Levan Saginashvili. And now let's discuss the Denis Siplenkov interview. Links to all of these interviews will be in the description. So the interviewer kind of set up Denis Siplenkov for a PED question for about a couple of minutes. Well, obviously, if you ask a PED question indirectly, no one is going to say that, yes, I do take PEDs. So then he kind of asked Dennis directly about the finger size, if he gained that hand size by using HGH, human growth hormone. And not to anyone's surprise, Dennis kind of indirectly admitted to HGH usage. He said that it was kind of an integral part, integral part of arm wrestling or strongman, I don't know. Because at that time, Dennis was doing strongman and a bunch of other stuff. So he was already using PEDs back then and maybe even more than what he used in arm wrestling. Because those sports are more physically demanding because you use your entire body, unlike arm wrestling, where you only use your upper body. And then he asked Dennis about his health update. Dennis said that he will for sure get the hip replacement surgery, but he is still managing it somehow until his next match and then he'll go for the surgery. Right now he is having some injections to manage the hip and knee pains. He is doing as good as he can. Clearly he didn't look happy while talking about it because the man is in pain. He is doing as much as he can to perform in this one super match before he heals up properly. And finally an interesting question. What could be Denis Siplenkov's lightest possible weight? Dennis said that maybe I can get down to 110 kilos because even when I was in the hospital totally sick 2019, still I weighed more than that, around 117 kilos. Well, this is something that we have also talked about on this channel in the past. Maybe Dennis can decide to cut to 115 kilos and dominate that category. Guys like Hermes and Dennis can do that, but the problem is Devon also can cut down to that weight category. That's the biggest problem for these guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe.